the devastating Hamas attack on Israel on the 7th of October 2023 had done a lot of damage and cost a lot of lives. Our thoughts and prayers are with the people of Israel. There are three lessons that we can learn from this horrible attack. One, it happened suddenly, without warning. Israel, with all its intelligence and all its expertise, being one of the best armies in the world, they were not prepared. They were not ready for it, although they have had many signs that it will happen. This is Israel's 9-11. It reminds us of what happened in America, 9-11, in New York. America, the most powerful country in the world and the wealthiest, they were caught unprepared and they were not ready for 9-11. The greatest event that will happen in man's history is the coming of Jesus Christ on the day of the Lord. And this is going to happen suddenly like a thief in the night. According to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 2, we have had many signs and warnings that it's near, and that we have to be ready and be prepared. Unfortunately, many would be lost because when it happened, they are not ready. Just like the time of Noah during the flood, many people were just partying and having a good time. They were not ready when it happened, like the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. So friends, be ready and be prepared for the coming of Jesus, because it will happen suddenly like a thief in the night. The other event that could happen is that you could suddenly die and you're not ready to meet our Lord and Savior. For many of you watching this video, today is your last day to be ready and believe in Jesus. Tomorrow may never come for you. You could have a heart attack or get run over or get shot. Or for whatever reason, today is your last day to be ready and to be right with God. So whether you are dead or alive when Jesus comes, the most important thing is that you are ready so you will go to heaven and have everlasting life by believing in Jesus. The second lesson that we can learn from the Hamas attack on Israel is that we cannot rely on man for our protection. Israel is one of the most advanced army in the world, the best military equipment, the famous dome that is supposed to protect Israel from any strikes failed. The same situation happened with America during 9-1-1, the most powerful, wealthiest country in the world. And yet, it was not ready because man failed. The only one that can protect you is God 100% of the time, 24-7, as in Psalm 91 says, that even if 10,000 people fall or die around you, God will protect you. So put your trust in God for his protection rather than man. The third lesson is that you cannot always trust your friends or your allies. America and many countries were quick to offer support. But remember, it was not long ago that Biden offered a deal to Iran and gave them six billion dollars. Where do you think all that money went? I believe a lot of it went into Hamas, Hezbollah, 
the enemies of Israel because Iran wants to destroy Israel. Friends, while our prayers and thoughts go out to Israel, we must remember that we must always be ready for Jesus coming that we can only trust in God for our protection and as a friend who will never let us down, who will never betray us. God bless.